Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Rachana from Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, pursuing first year B in Computer Science and Engineering. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss on the topic corrosion. First, let us see introduction to corrosion. Corrosion refers to the gradual deterioration of materials, usually metals, due to chemical or electrochemical reaction with their environment. It's a natural process often accelerated by factors like moisture, oxygen and pollutants. Next, importance of corrosion in various industries. In industries like construction, transportation, manufacturing and infrastructure, corrosion poses significant challenges and cost. For instance, in construction, it can weaken buildings and bridges, leading to safety hazards and costly repairs. In transportation, it affects vehicles, pipelines and offshore structures, comprising their integrity and longevity. Next, how corrosion occur and its impact on environment. Corrosion occurs when metals react with substances in their environment, such as oxygen, water, or acids or salts. This reaction can result in the formation of oxides, hydroxides, or other compounds, weakening the material structures and causing it to degrade over time. The impact of corrosion on materials and structures include loss of strength, reduced functionality, aesthetic degradation, and environmental pollution. Preventive measures like coatings, inhibitors, and proper material selection are crucial in mitigating corrosion and ensuring the durability and reliability of assets across various industries. Next, let us see the types of corrosion. There are two types of corrosion, differential metal corrosion and differential aeration corrosion. So let's see one by one. First, differential metal corrosion. When two dissimilar metals contact with each other and pose to corrosive environment, the metal which have less electrode potential acts as anode and undergo corrosion. The metal which have high electrode potential acts as cathode and it will prevent from the corrosion. So let's take an example zinc and iron. Here zinc metal have less electrode potential and undergo corrosion with liberation of electrons whereas iron metal acts as cathode due to high electrode potential and it will prevent from the corrosion. So what, let's see the examples. Tin coating on copper vessels. Steel pipe connected to copper plumbing. Bolt and nut are made up of different metals. Next, differential aeration corrosion. When a metal is exposed to different concentration of oxygen, part of the metal which have low concentration of oxygen acts as cathode and undergo corrosion. Part of the metal which have more concentration of oxygen acts as cathode and it will remains unaffected. Example, iron rod partially immersed in NaCl solution. Part of the metal immersed in solution exposed to lower concentration of oxygen becomes anode and undergo corrosion. Part of the metal outside the NaCl solution is exposed to high concentration of oxygen. It acts as cathode and it remains unaffected. There are two types of differential erosion corrosion, waterline corrosion and pitting corrosion. So let's see what is waterline corrosion. It is observed in iron or steel water tanks partially filled with water. Pitting corrosion where the portion of the metal covered by dust or oil particle which is less aerated becomes anodic and undergo corrosion forming a small pit. The remaining area of the metal which is exposed to high concentration of oxygen becomes cathode and it remains unaffected. Next, let us see what are the factors influencing corrosion. Environmental conditions. Temperature. Higher temperatures generally accelerate corrosion process by increasing the rate of chemical reactions. Humidity. High humidity levels facilitate the formation of electrolytes which enhance the corrosion process. pH. The acidity or alkalinity of the environment affects the rate of corrosion. Extreme pH levels can accelerate corrosion. Next, material properties. Chemical composition. Certain metals are more resistant to corrosion than others. For example, stainless steel contains chromium which forms a protective oxide layer reducing corrosion. Microstructure, grain size, impurities and defects in the material structures can influence its susceptibility in to corrosion. Surface finish. Rough surfaces provide more sites for corrosion to initiate compared to smooth surfaces. Mechanical stress. 
stress corrosion cracking applied stresses can accelerate corrosion leading to cracking and failure of the material this occurs in environments where a corrosive agent is present along with tensile strength fatigue repeated mechanical loading can initiate and propagate corrosion especially in materials subjected to cyclic loading next what are the effects of corrosion structural damage Corrosion weakens the material leading to loss of structural integrity in buildings bridges pipelines and other infrastructure reduce functionality corrosion can impair the functionality of machinery equipment and vehicles affecting their performance and reliability increased maintenance cost regular maintenance and repairs are required to mitigate corrosion increasing operational expenses for industries and infrastructure owners environmental contamination corrosion can release hazardous substances into the environment polluting soil water and air which can harm ecosystems and human health next and economic losses corrosion related downtime repairs and replacements can result in significant financial losses for business and governments So next what are the prevention of corrosion metal coating the process of coating base metal with a layer of protective metal is known as metal coating example anodic coating now next what is anodic coating the coating metal is more anodic to the base metal is called anodic coating example galvanization Next, let's see what is galvanization. The process of coating zinc on the surface of iron or steel by hot dipping process is called galvanization. Galvanization process is the best method for the prevention of corrosion. So let's see the process of galvanization. First, iron sheet is passed in organic solvent such as benzene, toluene, and CCl4 to remove organic impurities. Iron sheet is passed in dilute H2SO4 to remove inorganic impurities. It is well washed and air dried. Iron sheet is passed in mixture of zinc chloride and ammonium chloride to prevent the oxidation of zinc. Iron sheet is immersed in molten zinc at 450 degrees Celsius by hot dipping process. Iron sheet is passed through a pair of hot rollers to remove excess of zinc. At last, we get galvanized iron. Thank you, everyone. If you like this video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.